Okay guys, so I basically moved the pigs so they've got this area here so they've got an extended bit because it's nearly that time. Uh, this is my setup. So it's my, it's, I think it's about a 6x4 trailer. It's obviously a good four and a half foot tall. And all I do is put these here, just create a corral and leave it open. So now from now on, what I'll be doing is feeding them in here. Um, I won't give them a full feed, I'll just chuck a handful in, just get them interested, get them used to going in there every morning. So when it comes to the 1st of April, which is a week this Monday coming up, they will uh, be used to it and they will just hopefully go in without any trouble. So this is my easy way of loading pigs up. It's about training them basically. So what I'm going to do is I physically just put this trailer there. So this is the first time I've actually seen the trailer since I brought them here in it. Um, so this is their first experience. I did try and paint this, but whether it's the paint that I put on or the preparation I used, it's pretty useless. It's flaking off. But anyway, we'll uh, get some food and uh, see. I've been nagging at that uh, tree, old tree stump. Not sure if there's anything in it or just they're missing something in their diet. I don't know. But hopefully you can see these getting bigger. I will measure these before I send them as well. So we can see whether that calculator is uh, accurate or not. So let me get you stood up. So I'm just about to go get some food and you can sit and watch them. All I've done is just put a little bit there just to entice them. Um, I'm not expecting them to go in at all. Uh, well, not today anyway. I'll do this for the next next week. I can pretty much guarantee by Saturday night, maybe Sunday morning, I'm going to do this. They'll just go straight in. Let me see. I've got a few things to do. I'll leave you sat here for a few minutes. Um, but we'll see what happens. They've already been fed today, so that doesn't help because they're not as hungry as they probably should be. Uh, the day before that, I take them on the Monday, first thing in the morning. So Sunday, they'll only get one feed, which will be in the morning. So they'll be hungry by the Monday morning and they're more likely to go in. So you'll just hear a lot of grunting and moaning at the minute. The sink's changed. So, I'll leave you to it. Next morning, they're uh, getting a bit braver. 
Um, the thing is with pigs, the hooves are quite sensitive, or the trotters are quite sensitive. Um, so any change under the feet, they're really wary of. Plus, they've obviously been electric line there for the whole time they've been here, so they've got to get over that as well. Um, but we're getting there. There's no rush. Still got over a week. They didn't get fed last night. It might seem a bit cruel to some people, but you know they'll get it today at some point. But they need to be hungry to encourage them to go on. And as you can see, that one gilt's obviously greedy. As soon as one goes on, the rest of them will go on. So, this is Saturday dinner time, probably about 11 o'clock actually. Uh, the pigs have only seen this for less than 24 hours. All but two in. I'm getting used to it. Uh, won't be long before this one's hungry enough, brave enough to go in. I'm now, it'll just be a case of feeding them in the morning in here. We get used to it. Alright, morning folks. It's Sunday morning. Um, I'm just going to let the pigs out. As you can hear, they're still asleep. Lazy buggers at 8 o'clock in the morning. Now, yesterday they all ventured into the trailer, so we'll see what happens this morning. I'm expecting miracles, but I'm pretty sure they will go in. Let's see if we can see that. We've got some food. Something about this female that doesn't like the trailer. Um, she was the last one to go in yesterday, but we're getting there. Like I said, it's only really two days. Um, but this is where handling your pigs comes in when you're just feeding them and stuff. Um, so they're not frightened of you when they're going into somewhere different tonight now. Hey. I put straw down on the on the ramp as you'll see in a minute because when she's in I'll uh, take you across. So there you go, that was, well this video has been 2 minutes 30 seconds, so that was probably like 30 seconds of loading pigs. Now, I've loaded pigs for years um, and I know that it never always goes to plan, but this just makes things easy for you. This will give you a sense as well of how heavy these pigs are, or how big these pigs are now. The heavy because they're chipping the trailer with it. So, 
that's it. And then all the best laid plans and stuff never go to plan when you really want them to. I was always told, dealing with livestock, if you never leave enough time, it will always cause you hassle. So if you're ever doing this, I'd always plan not to do anything for at least the whole day. Um, although saying that, if say two of these pigs went on and one refused to go, that one that refused to go would stay here until the next the week after. So there we go. Now it's a load of pigs. Three big happy pigs. And a girl in the middle. These are right monster. Wish there were two were like it. 